wanted to connect your Squarespace domain directly into a Google site website. I'm going to be showing you how to do this process in a very easy way. So there's a few prerequisites in order to continue. One of the prerequisites is to have a Squarespace domain. To locate and purchase an actual domain directly from Squarespace, what I need to do is to look out for account.squarespace.com, sign in directly into uh, Squarespace, and once I have signed it in, I want to look out for get a domain. Directly here and to get a domain, I'm going to look out for start your domain name search here. I'm going to type, for example, a domain I would like to purchase. And once I clicked the, here, as you can see, we are now inside the find your domain. So look out for one domain that would you like to purchase. Once you have choose that option, choose the option that says check out and make the process of the purchase of the domain. Once you have now made the purchase of this domain, I'm going to look out for my actual domain directly into Squarespace domain. And it should be appearing now in here. Now, as you can see, we have a domain active. So what we need to do now, of course, is to make sure that we have the verification or being set up. So let's go back directly here in Gmail and verify your account. Now, this part is really important. Otherwise, you're going to be having tons of troubleshooting when you are checking out your domain. So let's go here for the option that says verify. And we can now start with the process of the dashboard. So inside your section of the domains, what I need to do is to, of course, select the domain that I, I have purchased it. And here let's focus into the option that says the DNS. Directly here into the DNS settings, I want to look out for the custom records. Let's leave this as it is, so let's go back directly into Google Sites. Now here, this is the next prerequisite we need to do is to have an active website generated. If I look out for the option that says published, here's going to be generating us a free website domain, which is sites.google.com view, your web address. But if you want to add your custom domain, you can choose instead the option that says manage and then choose the start the setup. Then here's going to be asking you to enter the domain that you have purchased. And here's going to be appearing this option that says that this domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. That means that I need to click into this option that says verify your ownership. Make sure that when you are inside the Google Search Console, you're using exactly the same element here from Google and into Google Sites. So I'm going to use an exactly the same account, right? So then I'm going to be pasting my information. In this case, here is my domain. I hit now to continue. And it's going to be providing us with a few uh, information, which in this case is the DNS record. So choose the record type. For example, in this case, it should be TXT. And here's the information that we needed to paste. So let's go back here into the Squarespace domain, choose the DNS element, and into custom records, choose the option that says add record. So in this case, it's going to be asking us to enter. Let's go back and see. TXT. So let's look out for the type, which is in this case TXT. And then here we have this Google site information. So I'm going to paste it here. It says text. Usually the host, I'm going to just leave this by default. But if it won't, let you just go and type the at. Once you have made this process, it's going to be appearing here. Uh, my custom record at type and the data, right? Once you've done this process, you go for continue and hit into verify. Now, sometimes this is not going to be working because it might be taking just a few minutes till this process has not been successfully done. But when you have actually successfully done this, you can, of course, go back, delete one information, delete one word and type it again. So you can see that you now have a verified website. So in my case, into my Google Search Console, this is a property that we have just uh, purchased directly from Squarespace. In this case, it's the .com. Let's go back directly into sites.google.com. I'm going to locate my website. And once I clicked info, you should see that here into this option that says uh, settings, custom domains. This one is now been added correctly. So if I close this and I have the public site linked, I go for a copy linked. I paste it into a new tab and you can see that now this is actually working. So as you can see, it's a really easily way of how we can set up a domain for Squarespace directly into the Google Sites. Sometimes, just in case you have any question, of course, what you need to do is to go and look out for Squarespace. But basically, you just need to have exactly the same information that's going to be asking you the Google uh, Sites to add directly into Squarespace and you will have no problem with that. So there you have it, guys. 
your Squarespace domain is now connected to your Google account. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, this was a very usefully and useful, of course, information for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully, we can all see you next time.